Okay, um, glad to be here again. Uh, my name is Yasmin George from uh, Yasmin George Balaj from Romania. Uh, a little bit uh, emotional, I guess, uh, right now. I was uh, prepared with another presentation and uh, had to change it. The presentation today is uh, entitled Job Overcoming in the Last Days. Job is a wonderful book, is an amazing uh, book which uh, God has given to us and it's uh, quite difficult to, to understand for most of us. I have studied this book even before I was baptized uh, when I was 16, uh, when I started to, um, to study the Bible. Uh, for the first time, I started uh, looking in the book of Job, and it was uh, a book which uh, fascinated me. Um, the amazing thing with this book uh, is that Job was a righteous man, and as it is written in the first few verses, God himself declares Job to be a righteous man. So... In the Bible, we can see that Jacob is a man just, but we see that God himself calls him just in the first verses. If we look in the first verses of Job, if we look in the first verses of Job, in uh, verse one, it says that there was. Uh, there was a man in the land, land of Uz whose name was Job, and that man was perfect and upright and one that feared God and eschewed evil. And later on, we have two times when uh, God declares Job to be righteous. And holy. So God declares Job to be righteous and holy. And then you have this great destruction that comes into the life of Job. And the question most of us have, why, if Job was righteous? Why did he have to, have to suffer so much if Job was righteous? And uh, you have the friends of Job, which uh, come to the same conclusion that there has to be something wrong with Job. And Satan does the same thing. In chapter 1, en el capítulo uno, verse 6, en el versículo seis, it says, now, now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves, themselves before the Lord, and Satan came also among them. Un día vinieron a presentarse delante de Jehová los hijos de Dios, entre los cuales vino también Satanás. And the Lord said unto, unto Satan, whence comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, from going to and fro in the earth and from walking up and down in it. Y dijo Jehová a Satanás, ¿De dónde vienes? Respondiendo Satanás a Jehová dijo, de rodear la tierra y andar por él. And the Lord said unto, unto Satan, has thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and an upright man, one that feareth God and is true evil? Y Jehová dijo a Satanás, ¿No has considerado mi siervo Job, que no hay otro como él en la tierra, para un perfecto y recto, temeroso de Dios y apartado del mal? 
Then Satan answered the Lord and said, Does Job answer, uh, fear God for naught? Respondiendo Satanás a Jehová dijo, ¿Acaso teme Job a Dios de balde? Has thou, has not thou made an hedge about him and about his house and about all that he hath on every side? Thou hast blessed the work of his hands and his substance is increased in the land. No le ha acercado alrededor a él y a su casa y a todo lo que tiene. Al trabajo de sus manos has dado bendición, por tanto sus bienes han aumentado sobre la tierra. But put forth thine hand now and touch all that he hath, and he will curse thee to thy face. Do you want to turn the microphone here or just keep it up there? Wherever you feel that I should stand. And the Lord said unto Satan, And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, all that he hath is in thy power. Only upon himself put not forth thine hand. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord. Dijo Jehová Satanás, He aquí todo lo que tiene está en tus manos. Solamente no pongas tu mano sobre él. Y salió Satanás de delante de Jehová. And we know what happened next. Y sabemos qué es lo que ocurrió después. We know how uh, the destructions came upon Job. Sabemos cómo la destrucción vino sobre el Job. And uh, we know uh, how all of his, everything that he had was destroyed. Y sabemos, y hemos leído de cómo todo lo que poseía fue destruido. And even uh, his children were destroyed, were killed. Aun sus hijos fueron muertos. Now, the question is, Ahora, la pregunta es, who challenged who? Because here we have God and we have Satan. Who challenged who regarding Job? Porque vimos en la conversación a Dios y a Satanás. ¿Quién fue el que le desafió a quién? Did, Joe, did uh, Satan challenge God or did God challenge Satan? ¿Satanás desafió a Dios o Dios desafió a Satanás? I don't know if someone can answer, but uh, most of the times, most of the times, they're saying here that Satan Challenged God. Yes, uh, that's 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 the usual answer that Satan uh, challenged God. But if we, look, if we look in the Bible, we see that Satan comes before God together with his sons, so he wasn't part of his sons. And then it is God who begins the challenging. So it says, and the Lord said unto Satan. So after, after when uh, the sons of God come and Satan comes with them, then it is God that says unto Satan, has thou considered my servant Job? Okay. Entonces, cuando Satanás se acerca a esta reunión donde los hijos de Dios se habían congregado, fue Dios el no. que le dice a Satanás, si no ha considerado a, a Job su siervo. So this shows us that it is not Satan that challenges God. Nos muestra aquí que entonces no es Satanás el que desafía a Dios. But it is God who challenges Satan. Fue en realidad Dios quien desafió a Satanás. And because of this, we know one thing. God is the one who is in control. Y por esto nosotros podemos saber que Dios es el que está en control. And he knows what he is doing. Y él sabe lo que está haciendo. And he knows how Satan is going to react. Y él sabe cómo va a reaccionar Satanás. Because Satan is a slave of sin. Porque Satanás es un esclavo del pecado. 
and he can only do evil. Y solamente puede hacer el mal. So when God challenges him, God knows how Satan is going to react. Entonces, cuando Dios desafía a Satanás, él también sabe cómo va a reaccionar Satanás. But the question is, why did God challenge him? La pregunta es, entonces, ¿por qué le desafió Satanás, Dios a Satanás? And why did all this evil, why did God let all this evil come upon Job, a righteous man? I'm sorry, can you, can you say that again? Why did God let all this evil come upon Job, who was a righteous man? Entonces, ¿por qué fue que Dios permitió que todo esto viniera sobre Job? Now, before I continue, I would like us to pray again. I would like to pray because we need the Holy Spirit to understand what is happening. Entonces, antes de continuar más la comunidad, vamos a tener una oración. So if you want to bow your heads with me. Heavenly Father, we come before you and we thank you that you have created us in an amazing way. I pray that through the blood of Jesus, you may cleanse us from sin and unrighteousness. A través de la sangre de Jesús, tú nos limpies de toda maldad. And I pray for your Holy Spirit to enlighten our hearts and our minds to understand the message of this book. Y pedimos que el Espíritu Santo ilumine nuestras mentes y nuestros corazones para entender el mensaje de hoy. It is a message you have sent to us for these last days. Es un mensaje que ha sido enviado para nosotros en los últimos días. And we thank you that you are with us and you will bless us. Eh, agradecemos que tú estés con nosotros y pedimos que nos bendigas. In Jesus' name, amen. En nombre de Jesús, amen. Amen. Now, what was the reaction of Job Entonces, when Satan destroyed everything? ¿Cuál fue la reacción de Job? Al ver que todo lo que él poseía fue destruido. Did he get upset? Did he sin in any way? ¿Pecó de alguna manera o en, alguna, en algún sentido? No. No. As it is written in uh, verse 22 from chapter 1. En el versículo 22 del capítulo 1. Job said, in all this, Job sinned not, nor charged God foolishly. En todo esto, no pecó Job, ni atribuyó a Dios despropósito alguno. What did Job show in the first reaction and in the first test? ¿Qué es lo que when Job, everything was taken away from him. ¿Qué es lo que se le quitó primero a Job en su primer... Eh, En la primera parte de este desafío. And in verse 21, en el versículo says, 21, Naked came I out of my mother's womb, and naked shall I return thither. The Lord gave, and the Lord took away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Dice, y dijo, Desnudo salí del vientre de mi madre, y desnudo volveré allá. Jehová dio y Jehová quitó. Sea el nombre de Jehová bendito. So the first thing, the first lesson we have to learn from the, from the book of Job, in order to be able to go further, is that Job counted everything as God's, not his. La primera lección que nosotros podemos aprender antes de seguir adelante es que Job consideraba que todo lo que él tenía era de Dios y no suyo. And this is the amazing lesson which all of us have to learn. Esta es la lección asombrosa que todos nosotros tenemos que aprender. What will happen when you will lose everything you have? 
How will you react? ¿Qué pasará cuando perdamos todo lo que tenemos? ¿Cómo vamos a reaccionar? How will you react when you lose your children, your loved ones? ¿Cómo reaccionarán cuando perdamos nuestros hijos y nuestros seres queridos? This is a book for the end times. Este es un libro para los últimos tiempos. And in the end times, you and I might lose absolutely everything. En los últimos tiempos, usted y yo podemos, puede ser que perdamos todo. Why is this? Is this Because God has to test each one of us who will be alive just like he tested Job. And we will see at the end why. Why God has to do this. In the second chapter we see satan come again before god en el segundo capítulo vemos a satanás venir de nuevo a donde estaba jehová and again it is god which challenges satan y nuevamente es dios quien desafía a satanás in chapter 2 verse 3 it is written en el versículo 3 del capítulo 2 and, and the lord said unto satan Has thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and an upright man, one that feareth God and escheweth evil? And still he holdeth fast his integrity, and although thou movest me against him to, to destroy him without cause. Jehová dijo a Satanás, no has considerado a mi siervo Job, que no hay otro como él en la tierra, varón perfecto y recto. Temeroso de Dios y apartado del mal, y que todavía retiene su integridad, aun cuando tú me incitaste contra él para que lo arruinara sin causa. And Satan answered the Lord and said, Skin for skin, yea, all that a man hath will he give for his life. Respondiendo Satanás dijo a Jehová, Piel por piel, todo lo que el hombre tiene dará por su vida. What does Satan actually tell us here? Es lo que Satanás le está diciendo a Dios aquí. He says to God that Job is selfish. Le está diciendo a Dios que Job va a actuar de manera egoísta. That Job would give up everything that he has, even his children, that he may save himself. Que Job daría todo lo que tiene, aún a sus hijos, por salvarse a sí mismo. And now comes the second test to prove Job if he truly is selfish. Y entonces llega la segunda prueba a Job para probar si es que realmente es egoísta. The question is, are you and I selfish? La pregunta entonces sería para nosotros, ¿somos nosotros egoístas? Would we give up everything that we may save ourselves? ¿Entregaríamos todo con el motivo de salvarnos a nosotros mismos? This is how Satan is. Yeah, I'm sorry, can you say that? This, this is how Satan is. Satan would, would want to destroy everything but he himself to be alive. Esta es la manera en que actúa Satanás. Satanás destruiría todo y daría todo para salvarse a sí mismo. So we read, we continue reading. But first, put forth thine hand, and now, and touch his bone and his flesh, and he will curse thee to thy face. En el versículo 5 dice, pero extiende ahora tu mano, Toca su hueso y su carne y verás si no blasfema contra ti en tu misma presencia. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, he is in thine hand, but save his life. Y Jehová dijo a Satanás, He aquí, él está en tu mano, mas guarda su vida. 
What could Satan do if God did not allow him? What could Satan do if God did not allow him? ¿Qué podía hacer Satanás si es que Dios no permitía? Nothing. Nothing. So who is in control? Entonces, ¿quién está al control? God. It's God. So, therefore, from here on, we see that Job does not fight with Satan at all. Entonces vemos aquí que y en los versículos siguientes que vio que Job no está peleando contra Satanás. He fights only with God. Él está peleando únicamente solo con Dios. Because Job realized that Nothing comes in his life if it passes not through God. In Job chapter 42, verse 11, it is written, then came there unto him all his brethren and all his sister, sisters and all they that had been of his acquaintance before and did eat bread with him in his house. And they bemoaned him and comforted him over all the evil that the Lord had brought upon him. Every man also giving him a piece of money and everyone an earring of gold. This in the verse 11. Y vinieron a él todos sus hermanos y todas sus hermanas y todos los que antes le habían conocido y comieron con él pan en su casa y se condolieron de él y le consolaron de todo aquel mal que Jehová había traído sobre él y cada uno de ellos le dio una pieza de dinero y un anillo de oro. So who brought all the destruction upon Job? ¿Quién había traído toda la destrucción sobre Job? Did Satan bring all the destruction or did God bring all the destruction? Satanás trajo toda la destrucción sobre Job o fue Dios que trajo toda la destrucción sobre Job? They're saying Satan. <laughs> yeah, it's not Satan. The Bible says that it's God. <laughs> no es Satanás. En el versículo acabamos de leer que fue Dios. Because Satan cannot do anything if God does not allow him. So God allows him to do it. Yes, the evil Satan does, but God has to allow him. So who is responsible for what takes place? It is God. Entonces, el responsable de que todo esto pasara fue Dios. If you and I think that it is Satan that brings destruction in our lives, si es que pensamos que es Satanás el que trae la destrucción en nuestras vidas, then we have lost the battle. Entonces hemos perdido la batalla. Because we will fight with the one we shouldn't. Porque pelearemos donde no deberíamos. But Job understood that God was responsible for all that is happening in his life. Pero Job entendió que Dios era responsable de todo lo que sucedía en su vida. And therefore Job was fighting with God, y entonces, like Jacob. Dios, entonces Job estaba peleando con Dios, así como Jacob. And because Job and Jacob were fighting with God, they won the battle. Y porque Job y Jacob estaban peleando con Dios, pelearon, ganaron la batalla. 
That's why from verse three, you see the discussion between his friends and Job, but Job always arguing and fighting with God. Por eso vemos en el versículo 3 la discusión y vemos que Job indica que está peleando con Dios. But first of all, let's see what happens after the second test. Pero antes de eso vamos a ver qué es lo que sucede antes, después de la segunda prueba. So Satan goes and hits Job with a disease. Entonces Satanás fue y le puso una enfermedad a Job. And in verse 9 it says, y en el versículo 9 dice, Then said his wife unto him, Dost thou still retain thine integrity? Curse God and die. En el capítulo 2, versículo 9 dice, Entonces le dijo su mujer, ¿Aún retienes tu integridad? Maldice a Dios y muere. But he said unto her, Does thou speak as one of the foolish women speaketh? What? Shall we receive good at the hand of God? And she, shall we not receive evil? Is in all this, did not Job sin with his lips? Y él le dijo, como suele hablar cualquiera de las mujeres patuas, has hablado. Que recibiremos de Dios el bien y el mal no lo recibiremos. En todo esto, no pecó Job con sus labios. Was Job upset because he lost his health? Esto dijo Job después de haber perdido su salud. No. Did he sin because he lost his, his health? And the answer is no. Dijo esto porque había perdido su salud. Pecó después de haber perdido su salud. Okay, but in here comes a question, comes a point which his wife brings forth. Entonces aquí and in verse 9, una pregunta que, que la mujer le hace a Job. In verse 9, it says, his wife asks him, Does thou still retain thine integrity? Le pregunta a Job, ¿aún retienes tu integridad? This is the same thing that God said about Job. Who said? I'm sorry. God said it about Job in verse 3. Esto es lo mismo que Dios dijo de Job en el versículo 3. It says, and still he holdeth fast his integrity. Dice, y que todavía retiene su integridad. So Job was holding unto his righteousness, unto his integrity, in the first test and in the second test. Yo, Job mantenía su integridad en, el primer, en la primera prueba, así como en la segunda prueba. Now, what were the friends of Job saying? What were they attacking Job for? ¿Y qué le estaban diciendo los amigos de Job? ¿De qué le estaban acusando? Why did they say that Job was sick? ¿Por qué decían ellos que Job estaba enfermo? Anyone? Alguien? ¿Sabe? They're saying because he had sin. Yes. They sin. say that, that God bring, brings this upon him because he sinned. Ellos decían que Dios había traído esta enfermedad sobre Job porque él había pecado. Uh, in uh, Job chapter 4, verse 18, Job 4, 18 uh, 17 and 18, el 17 y el 18, it says this, Shall mortal man be more just than God? 
Shall a man be more pure than his maker? ¿Será el hombre más justo que Dios? ¿Será el varón más limpio que el que lo hizo? And verse 18, Behold, he, putteth, he, he put no trust in his servants, and his angels he charged with folly. He aquí, en sus siervos no confía, y notó necedad en sus ángeles. So, Eliphaz, who speaks in chapter 4, Entonces, Eliphaz, que habla en el capítulo 4, says that nobody can be just or righteous before God. Que nadie, not even his angels. Que nadie puede ser justo o limpio delante de Dios. And therefore, Job is a sinner and he cannot be righteous. Y por esta razón, Job es un pecador y no puede ser justo. In chapter 15, verse 15, Fifteen or fifty? Fifteen, one five. En el capítulo quince, en el versículo. Fifteen. Job's uh, Eliphaz says again, Behold, he, God, putteth, putteth no trust in his saints, yea, the heavens are not clean in his sight. En el versículo 15 dice, He aquí, en sus santos no confía, y ni aún los cielos son limpios delante de sus ojos. So, Eliphaz and his friends tell Job that you, Job, cannot be righteous. Entonces, Eliphaz y los amigos de Job le están diciendo a Job que él no puede ser justo. You cannot live a righteous life. You cannot keep God's laws. Que no puede vivir una vida de justicia y que no puede mantener la ley de Dios. You can never in this life live as God lives. Que él no puede vivir como Dios vive. But not only that, even God's angels are not righteous. Que aún los ángeles de Dios no son justos. And that's how they declare that nobody can live a righteous and holy life. I'm sorry, can you say that again? That's how they declare that nobody can live a righteous and holy life. Y de esa manera declararon que nadie puede vivir una vida justa. The question is, do we hear the same thing today? La pregunta es, ¿escuchamos estas mismas cosas hoy en día? Yes. And in the last chapter, God rebukes them. En el último capítulo, volvemos a revisar estas cosas. In uh, Job chapter 42, en verse 8. 42 en el versículo 8. Well, in verse 7, but I'm not going to read the whole thing, but it says that uh, his friends have to bring a sacrifice in order to be forgiven. Aquí en estos versículos dice que los amigos de Job tuvieron que traer un sacrificio para ser perdonados. Because God is angry against them, he's going to destroy them if Job does not pray for them and then they bring a sacrifice. Porque Dios les iba a destruir causa de su enojo, a menos que Job orara por ellos y trajeran ellos un sacrificio. And the reason is, in chapter 42, verse 7, it says, For ye have not spoken of me the thing that is right, as uh, my servant Job hath. Y la razón de esta ira es, está escrita en el versículo 7, donde dice, porque no habéis hablado de mí lo recto como mi siervo Job. Okay, so God tells them that what they said, what they, what they uh, preached, that nobody, even in heaven, is righteous and nobody can keep the law of God is evil in the sight of God. It is not the truth. Porque ellos decían que nadie puede mantener la ley de Dios y que aún en el cielo no había justicia. 
So what we have here is um, the fight between Satan, who says that nobody can keep the law of God, and his Job's friends say the same thing. Entonces vemos aquí la pelea entre Dios y Satanás, donde Satanás dice, así como los amigos de Job, que la ley de Dios no puede ser guardada. And then it is God. Y también está Dios. Who says that Job is righteous. Y dice que Job era un hombre justo. And then it is Job that says that he is righteous. Juntamente con Job, que muestra que él es justo. So, the fight between Job's friends and Job is that Job declares he is righteous and keeps God's commandments and his friends say, no, it is impossible. Entonces, la pelea que hay entre Job y sus amigos es que Job muestra que, y muestra y dice que él es justo, pero sus amigos le dicen que él no es justo. Que no puede guardar los mandamientos. And because of, because of this, because of Job declaring that he is righteous, he goes to fight against God in quite an unpleasant way in some points. Y porque Job declara que es justo, entonces él se dirige a una pelea con Dios en donde termina de maneras, donde recibe... In Job chapter 9, verse 21, Job says, Though I were perfect, yet would I not know my soul. I would despise my life. In el versículo... In el versículo... Si fuese íntegro, no haría caso de mí mismo, despreciaría mi vida. This, one, this is one thing, therefore I said it, he destroyeth the perfect and the wicked. I'm sorry, can you, can you say that again? Verse 22, verse 22, this is one thing, therefore I said it, he destroyeth the perfect and the wicked. Y en el versículo 22 dice, una cosa resta que yo diga, al perfecto y al impío, él los consume. So Job here declares that God is the one that destroys the perfect because he is perfect and God declares him to be perfect and the wicked. Y entonces aquí Job declara que Dios destruye al impío y al perfecto. And then in verse 23, did you say did you say that God consumes the the perfect and the Job? wicked? Okay. Yeah, this, this is what Job says in this verse, verse 22. Está diciendo que en el versículo 22 nos muestra que Dios destruye al perfecto y al impío. And this is why Job is angry with God and fights with God. Y por esta razón Job pelea contra Dios. And then we have verse 23, where he says, If the scourge slay suddenly, he will laugh at the trial of the innocent. Si azota, ma si azote, mata de repente, se ríe del sufrimiento de los inocentes. So Job condemns God. Job condenó a Dios. That he doesn't do what is good. Diciendo que él no hace lo que es bueno. Because there is no unrighteousness in Job and yet he is punished. Because why? Because Job says that there is no unrighteousness in him. There is no sin in him. But yet God still punishes him. Porque Dios, porque Job dice que en él no había pecado y sin embargo Dios le estaba castigando. And in verse 24, Job continues to say, the earth is given. In el versículo 24 dice, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He, God, covers the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? 
La tierra es entregada en manos de los gentiles y él cubre el rostro de sus jueces. Si no es él, ¿quién es? ¿Dónde está? So if Job says that if God doesn't do all these bad things, who else does it? Job está diciendo que si es que Dios no es el que hace todas estas cosas malas, ¿quién es el que está haciendo? Who brings all these unjust things? Who brings all this destruction? ¿Quién es el que trae todas estas injusticias y todas estas destrucciones? But Job understands that he is fighting with God, not with Satan. Pero Dios entiende que Job, pero Job entiende que él no está peleando contra, contra Satanás, sino contra Dios. And that's why in chapter 13, verse 3, it says, Surely I would speak to the Almighty, and I desire to reason with God. So, Job is fighting directly with God because he doesn't understand why this, these bad things are taking place. Entonces Job muestra que él está peleando con Dios porque no entiende de qué otra manera todas estas cosas malas podrían llegar. And after this whole discussion takes place back and forth, y luego esta discusión toma lugar. Job declares that he has no sin. Job declara que él no tiene ningún pecado. And his friends stop saying anything because Job declares and shows that he is righteous. Y sus amigos no pueden decir nada porque Job muestra y dice que él es justo. And then God starts to talk after Elihu. Entonces, después de Liefaz, Dios empieza a hablar. And uh, in uh, chapter 38, God begins to talk. En el capítulo 38, Dios empieza a hablar. And in chapter 38, verse 1, it is written. En versículo 1. Then the Lord answered Job out of the whirlwind and said, Entonces respondió Jehová Job desde un torbellino y dijo, So when God speaks out of, out of the whirlwind, it means that he is upset. Entonces aquí cuando dice que habla desde un torbellino, muestra que Dios está... And God yeah. talks to Job and tries to reason with him and tell him the great things that he is capable of doing, that he is in control, he is the Almighty. And in chapter 40, verse 1 and 2, after God finishes his first speech, this is how he ends it. Y así es como termina la, el discurso de Dios. It says, moreover, the Lord answered Job and said. Además, respondió Jehová a Job y dijo. Shall he that contendeth with the Almighty instruct him? He that reproveth God, let him answer it. Es sabiduría contender con el Omnipotente. El que disputa con Dios, responda esto. To me, it is amazing. Para mí es asombroso. Because Job was fighting with God. Porque Job estaba peleando con Dios. God answered him. Dios le contestó. But if I fight with Satan. Pues si es que yo peleo contra Satanás. Who's going to answer? ¿Quién me va a contestar? We lose the battle. 
Perdemos la batalla. But Job fought with God, even though he did not understand something, yet he was fighting with God to understand. Pero Job estaba peleando con Dios, aun cuando no comprendía. Muchas cosas comprendía God, con Dios. And God tells him, you who fight with God, will you dice, teach him? Y Dios le dice, tú que estás peleando con Dios, can you what? Can you teach him? Can you teach God? ¿Le puedes enseñar algo a Dios? And look at the answer of Job in verse 3. Miren la respuesta de Job en el versículo 3. Job, then Job answered the Lord and said, Behold, I am vile. What shall I answer thee? I will lay mine hand upon my mouth. Once have I spoken, but I will not answer. Yea, twice, but I will proceed no further. Dice, Entonces respondió Job a Jehová y dijo, He aquí que yo soy vil. ¿Qué te responderé? Y mano pongo sobre mi boca. Una vez hablé, mas no responderé. Aún dos veces, mas no volveré a hablar. So, what was the answer of Job actually meaning? What, what was he saying here? ¿Qué es lo que Job estaba tratando de decir aquí? Was Job changed from what he said before? Job había cambiado de lo que había dicho antes. Was Job convicted of his error? Of this what? Of his error that he did something wrong or said something wrong? Estaba convencido aquí de que había cometido un error. The answer is no. La respuesta es no. Job here says, what I have spoken before is what stays. You have not convinced me. Nothing changes. Lo que dice aquí, Job trata de decir, es que no le convenció Dios que él se mantiene en la misma posición. Job was not convinced by God's intervention. Dios no estaba convencido por la intervención de Dios. Job. The only thing that God managed to do in the first intervention is to make Job stop and think. Lo único que se logró es que Job parara y pensara. But Job said, I'm not convinced. I still stand by what I've declared before. I am righteous. You are not. Pero Job se detuvo Y lo único que eh, en lo que se mantuvo es que él era justo y que Dios no. So we continue in verse 6. Y continuamos entonces en el versículo 6. Then answered the Lord out of the whirlwind and said. Respondió Jehová a Job desde el torbellino y dijo. So we see here again that God is angry with Job. Y vemos aquí nuevamente que Dios está enojado con Job. And God continues saying verse 7. Vemos en el versículo 7 a Dios respondiendo. Gird up thy loins like a man, and I will demand of thee, and declare thou unto me. Síñete ahora como varón tus lomos. Yo te preguntaré y tú me responderás. <laughs> And it, God is so amazing. Y Dios es tan asombroso. He talks with man. The Almighty talking with man who is nothing. Y aquí vemos al, al Dios hablando con el hombre. Al Todopoderoso hablando con el hombre. And it's just amazing because Job was fighting with God. God was willing to step down and talk to him. Y es increíble porque Job estaba peleando con Dios. Y Dios está dispuesto a responderle. And God answers his question, the question of his heart. Dios responde la pregunta del corazón de Job. And in verse 8, God says, en el versículo ocho dice, Wilt thou also 
disannul my judgment? Will thou condemn me that thou mayest be righteous? Invalidarás tú también mi juicio, me condenarás a mí para justificarte tú. This is the whole thing that God brings Job to. I'm, I'm sorry. It, it, it... This is where God wants to bring Job to, to understand. A esto quiere llevar de Dios a Job a que entienda. From the beginning to the end, Job was defending one thing, one thing only. Desde el inicio hasta el final, Job estaba defendiendo una sola cosa. He didn't care that he lost everything that he had, his children and all that he possessed. No le importaba que había perdido todo lo que tenía, todo lo que podía poseer. Because he said, this are God's. These things are not mine. Porque él decía que estas cosas no eran de él, sino eran de Dios. He didn't care that he, the disease came upon his life. He didn't care for his life. Tampoco se preocupó por su vida. No le importó que una enfermedad le, le haya caído. But he cared about something. What was that? Pero él le importaba una sola cosa. ¿Y qué era eso? He cared about something so much that he was ready to take down God from heaven, to dethrone God in order to defend this one thing. What was that? What was Job fighting for? ¿Por qué era lo que Job estaba peleando? They're saying here because he didn't want to be considered as a sinner. Yes. Sí. Job defended his righteousness. Job defendía su justicia. And this is what God says in verse 8. Y esto es lo que... Dios le responde a Job en el versículo 8. Will thou condemn me that you may be righteous? Me condenarás a mí para justificarte tú. So, Job wanted to be righteous and to prove to everyone that he was righteous. He was without sin, even before God. Job quería probarse a sí mismo y probar a todos que él era justo ante Dios. At one point he even said, let God show me where I have done wrong. Y él entonces preguntaba y pedía que Dios le muestre qué es lo que había hecho mal. He even said that it is because I am righteous that I can fight with God. Otherwise I could not stand before him. Él decía que porque soy justo es que puedo pelear contra Dios si no no podía. And this was the actual problem. Y este era el problema. It wasn't that he lost everything. No era que él había perdido todo. Even his health. Aún su salud. But Job came to the point. Job llegó al punto where he was ready to remove God that he may be righteous. En donde Job estaba dispuesto a quitar a Dios para él ser justo. And God shows him this problem. I'm sorry, can, can you? God shows him that this is his problem. Y Dios le muestra a Job que este era su problema. Even though Job got his righteousness from God. I'm sorry. The, the... A pesar de que Dios obtuvo su justicia de Dios. Because he brought the sacrifices. Perdón, I'm sorry, can, can you repeat that? 
So Job brought the sacrifices. Job trajo estos sacrificios. And through that, he shows us that his righteousness was received from God. Y a través de esto, mostró que su justicia era aceptada por Dios. But the problem was that Job was holding on to the righteousness he received from God que Dios estaba aferrando a la justicia que había recibido de Dios. He was holding it more than to God himself. Se estaba aferrando más a esto que a Dios. And God in the second answer y Dios en la segunda respuesta says Job le dice a Job What would happen if I would not be in your life and you would be righteous? What would you do with Leviathan? What would you do with what? With Leviathan, the dragon. What would you do with thunder? How would life be if I would not be there? And when Job sees this point, he answers in chapter 42. In chapter 42, verse 1, Job answered the Lord and said, in the chapter 42, in the verse 5, I know that thou canst do everything, and that no thought can be withholden from thee. I'm sorry, what, what verse was it? Chapter 42, verse 2. En el 42, 2 dice, Yo conozco que todo lo puedes y que no hay pensamiento en ti que se esconda. Que no hay pensamiento que se esconda de ti. And then he quotes God in verse 3. Who is he that hideth counsel without knowledge? Therefore have I uttered that I understood not. Things too wonderful for me, which I knew not. ¿Quién es el que... ¿Quién es el que oscurece el consejo sin entendimiento? Por tanto, yo hablaba lo que no entendía, cosas demasiado maravillosas para mí que yo no comprendía. And then quotes God again, Here I beseech thee, and I will speak. And then Job says, uh, And I will demand of thee, and declare thou unto me. Quoting God, verse 4. En el versículo 4 dice, Oye, te ruego y hablaré. Te preguntaré y tú me enseñarás. And Job answers God, I have heard of thee by the hearing of the ear, but mine eyes have not seen thee. De oídas te había oído, mas ahora mis ojos te ven. And then verse 6 is the answer of Job to God and the revelation that he had. Y en el versículo 6 vemos la respuesta de Job a la revelación que Dios le había mostrado. And Job says, wherefore I abhor myself and repent in dust and ashes. Por tanto me aborrezco y me arrepiento en polvo y ceniza. When Job sees God. Cuando Job le ve a Dios. That there's nothing in life more beautiful and more valuable than God. Que no hay nada en la vida más valioso y más maravilloso que Dios. Job, for the first time, gives up his righteousness. Por primera vez, Dios deja un lado su justicia. Job gives up everything that he fought for. Job deja un lado todo lo que él estaba peleando por todo por lo que él estaba peleando. And he says, I abhor myself. Y dice que se aborrece a sí mismo. Why? 
¿Por qué? Because he saw God. Porque vio a Dios. And now he wants God alone. Y ahora lo único que quiere es solo Dios. And in uh, Philippians, y en Filipenses, chapter 3, verse 8, en el versículo 3 del capítulo, el capítulo 3, versículo 8. Paul comes to the same conclusion as Job. Pablo llega a la misma conclusión que Dios, que Job. Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus, my Lord for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and do count them but dung, that I may win Christ. Ciertamente, aún estimo todas las cosas como pérdida por la excelencia del conocimiento de Cristo Jesús, mi Señor, por amor del cual lo he perdido todo y lo tengo por basura para ganar a Cristo. Job, when he saw God, He said, I want God alone, nothing else. Dijo, Solo a Dios y a nada más. Paul, when he saw God, said, I want nothing else but God alone. Pablo, cuando vio a Dios, también dijo que solo quiere a Dios y a nada más. What do you fight for? ¿Cuál es la, ¿Por qué están peleando ustedes? What do you hold on to? ¿A qué se están aferrando? Soon, in this no. world, God shall bring destruction where everything that we have will be taken away. Pronto, Dios hará destrucción a este mundo y todo lo que nosotros poseemos va a ser destruido. Even your health, even your life might be attacked. Incluso su salud o su vida puede ser atacada. Will you value God more than everything else? ¿Le será más de mayor valor Dios que cualquier otra cosa? Do you abhor yourself so that you may see Christ and want to have him? ¿Se aborrecen a ustedes mismos? Para que ustedes puedan creer a Dios, a Jesús, a nada más. In this world, as we are told by the great reset and the, by the great men of this world. Okay, come again. The great men of this world. I, I couldn't hear you, I'm sorry. The great men of this world. The great what? Men, the great men of this world, the great los, leaders. Los, los líderes poderosos de este mundo. Want to bring about the great reset. Quieren traer el gran reseteo. And through that they say that we'll take everything that we have away. We will own nothing. Y a través de esto dicen que no vamos a poseer nada. Do they do that or is God letting it happen as it happened with Job? Ellos están haciendo esto o también Dios les está permitiendo hacer eso así como Satanás actuar en la historia de Job. Is this situation in the world with this pandemic, is it the plan of someone or is it God in control? La pandemia fue elaborada por alguien o Dios permitió que estos males llegaran a, a la tierra. If you lose your health or lose someone who is dear to you. Si es que perdemos la salud o perdemos a nuestros seres queridos. Will you reject God because of your loss? Rechazaremos a Dios por a causa de nuestra pérdida. Will you deny God because of your loss? A Dios a causa de 
Is there something in your life which you hold on to more than unto Christ? Hay algo en tu vida a lo que te aferres más de lo más que a Cristo. God cannot take anyone to heaven who holds on to something more than unto him. Dios no puede llevar a nadie al cielo, a nadie que se aferre a algo más que no sea Cristo. I pray that you and I Oro para que nosotros will count everything but dung. We'll count everything but dung, refuse. Pero, pero consideremos todo como basura. That we may take hold of Christ. Para que podamos recibir a Cristo. Amen. Amen. I don't know if any if there are any questions, but if not, I would like to end it here. May we all fight to gain Christ above all.